Have you ever wondered how a small, landlocked country nestled in the Himalayas came to be known as Nepal? A land of mystic mountains, vibrant cultures and centuries-old heritage, Nepal's history is as rich and diverse as its landscape. Our journey begins around 800 years before Christ, during the reign of the Kirats. These early inhabitants, believed to have migrated from the east, established the first dynasty of Nepal. The Kirat period, spanning over a thousand years, is notable for its contributions to society and culture. This was a time when trade routes were established, connecting Nepal to the larger South Asian region and beyond, and leading to a blossoming of culture and economic activity. As we move forward in time, around the 3rd century AD, the torch of leadership passed on to the Lichavi dynasty. This epoch marked the beginning of documented history in Nepal. The Lichavi era was a golden age of sorts, with significant advancements in art, architecture and governance. The Lichavi rulers, known for their just and moral rule, introduced written laws and left behind a legacy of stone inscriptions, providing us with valuable insights into the socio-political life of that period. These were the times when the foundations of a unique blend of Hinduism and Buddhism were laid. The coexistence of these two religions shaped the cultural landscape of Nepal, influencing its art, architecture and societal norms. It's during the Lichavi period that we see the development of the distinctive Nepalese architectural style, with its intricately carved wooden temples and metal statues, many of which still stand tall, narrating tales of the past. The Lichavi era also saw the establishment of the city of Kathmandu, which today stands as the vibrant capital of Nepal. Known then as Manjupatan, Kathmandu was one of the three royal cities alongside Bhaktapur and Lalitpur. These cities, collectively known as the Kathmandu Valley, are home to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites, bearing testimony to the region's rich historical and cultural heritage. And so, the foundations of what we now know as Nepal were set. From the rule of the Kirats to the reign of the Likavis, this small Himalayan nation was slowly but surely carving out its identity, setting the stage for the fascinating chapters of history that were yet to unfold. As centuries passed, the small nation of Nepal began to grow in both size and reputation. The 12th century brought the dawn of the Mala dynasty, a period of unification that would forever shape the cultural and architectural landscape of this vibrant country. This era, stretching from 1201 to 1769 AD, was marked by significant advancements, with the Mala kings playing a pivotal role in fostering a renaissance of sorts in the Kathmandu Valley. The kings, known for their patronage of the arts, commissioned the construction of some of the most iconic temples and palaces that still grace the cityscape today. These architectural marvels serve as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the Mala period, with their intricate wood carvings, multi-tiered roofs, and ornately decorated struts. The Mala dynasty was not only about architectural splendors, but it also saw a cultural flourishing. It was a time when the arts, literature, and music thrived, the kings themselves were often accomplished poets, musicians and scholars, setting the tone for a society that valued intellectual pursuits and artistic expression. This cultural efflorescence was beautifully mirrored in the vibrant festivals and rituals that were celebrated with much pomp and grandeur, many of which continue to be a part of Nepal's rich cultural tapestry. In addition to the arts, the Mala period was a golden age for trade and commerce. The Kathmandu Valley, with its strategic location along the trade routes between India and Tibet, became a hub of economic activity. This prosperity led to an increase in urbanization, with towns growing around bustling market squares, many of which are still in use today. The Mala dynasty was a time of growth and prosperity, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Nepal. It was an era that celebrated human creativity, intellectual pursuits, and economic dynamism. But as with all great dynasties, change was on the horizon, and in the shadows of the towering Himalayas, a new chapter in Nepal's history was about to unfold. With the dawn of the 18th century, Nepal witnessed a dramatic shift in power. As the adage goes, change is the only constant, and this was indeed true for Nepal during this period. One man in particular, Prithvi Narayan Shah, a visionary king from the small kingdom of Gorkha, had a grand dream. His ambition, to unify the diverse principalities scattered across the rugged terrain of Nepal under a single flag. 
Prithvi Narayan Shah embarked on a series of conquests, gradually expanding his territory. Through strategic alliances, fierce battles, and diplomatic negotiations, he brought the various kingdoms under his rule. This marked the beginning of the Shah dynasty and the unification of Nepal, forever changing the country's political landscape. Yet the story doesn't end here. Fast forward to the mid-19th century, a new power emerged on the horizon. The Rana autocracy, which began in 1846 and lasted until 1951, was a period marked by both progress and oppression. The Ranas, originally military leaders, usurped power from the Shah kings, reducing them to mere figureheads. The Rana prime ministers ruled with an iron fist, maintaining their power through a hereditary system that left little room for political dissent. However, it was during this period that Nepal also took its first steps towards modernization. The Ranas introduced administrative reforms, built infrastructure, and even opened the doors to foreign influences, albeit selectively. They erected grand palaces and buildings, blending Nepali architecture with European styles, some of which still stand today as symbols of the Rana legacy. Yet their rule was also marked by isolationist policies, keeping Nepal largely closed off from the rest of the world. The Rana rule, while oppressive, brought Nepal into the modern era, setting the stage for the seismic changes to come. Indeed, the seeds of change sown during this period would later sprout into movements demanding democracy and social reform, shaping the Nepal we know today. The 20th century was a time of revolution and transformation for Nepal. As the 1950s dawned, an era of change was ushered in, with a powerful democratic movement rising against the century-long Rana regime. This movement marked the end of Rana autocracy, paving the way for a more democratic form of governance. Yet the path to democracy was not an easy one. The mid-20th century was characterized by political instability, with power oscillating between monarchs and political parties. This period, fraught with challenges and struggles, was a crucial chapter in shaping Nepal's political landscape. The turn of the millennium brought its own set of trials. A decade-long civil war initiated by the Communist Party of Nepal, Maoist, devastated the nation. This period of intense conflict lasting from 1996 to 2006 resulted in significant loss and hardship for the Nepalese people. However, the end of the civil war marked a new beginning for Nepal. The peace process that followed led to the drafting of a new constitution, heralding a significant milestone in Nepal's journey towards democracy. The constitution, promulgated in 2015, established Nepal as a federal democratic republic, ensuring the rights and freedoms of its citizens. Through these tumultuous times, the resilience of the Nepalese people shone through. Their indomitable spirit carried the nation forward, helping to shape a democratic society from the ashes of conflict and turmoil. As we reflect on Nepal's recent history, we see a nation that has weathered numerous storms, yet never lost its essence. A country that has transformed itself time and again in the face of adversity, standing tall amidst the challenges that came its way. Today, Nepal stands as a testament to its resilient spirit, carrying the legacy of its rich history into the future. This journey, marked by trials and triumphs, continues to shape the nation, guiding it towards a future that honors its past while embracing the promise of tomorrow. From the ancient Kirat and Lichavi dynasties to the modern democratic republic, Nepal's history is a captivating tale of resilience and transformation. Our journey began with the early civilizations of the Kirat and Lichavi periods, where we saw the foundations of a culture rich in artistry, philosophy and governance. The seeds of Nepal's unique identity, a blend of Hindu and Buddhist traditions, were sown during these times, setting the stage for a diverse cultural landscape that thrives even today. We then ventured into the era of the Mala dynasty, an age of prosperity and cultural renaissance. The Kathmandu Valley, with its grand palaces, ornate temples and bustling markets, bears testament to the architectural and artistic prowess of the Mala kings. This period, despite its eventual decline, remains a golden chapter in Nepal's history. Our expedition continued with the ascension of the Shah dynasty and the subsequent Rana rule. A time of political intrigue and power struggles, 
It also marked significant modernization efforts and infrastructural development. The Shah and Rana periods, with their complex interplay of authority and reform, laid the groundwork for the nation's journey towards sovereignty. And finally, we explored the democratic movements and the recent history of Nepal. The struggle for democracy, marked by courage and sacrifice, brought about an era of change and opened the doors to a more inclusive and representative governance. Today, Nepal stands as a federal democratic republic, embodying the aspirations of its diverse populace. As we trace the contours of Nepal's past, we found a narrative of endurance and evolution, of a people and a nation constantly in the process of becoming. Each chapter of this historical journey, each dynasty and each transition has left an indelible mark on the country's cultural, social and political fabric. As we stand on the precipice of the future, we carry with us the echoes of the past, shaping the story of this remarkable nation called Nepal.